Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we explore the world of technology and automation. In today's video, we have an exciting node rate flow to dive in. If you are into IoT and sensor data processing, you are in the right place. Let's get started. So, what we have here, it's a node rate flow that takes input from the hull sensor, calculates the speed in kilometers per hour and displays the result. It's a neat project especially if you are working on anything related to measuring rotational speed and converting it into a more human friendly unit. Let's break down this flow step by step. Injecting Hall Sensor Pulse Our journey begins with an inject node labeled Hall Sensor Input Pulse. This node simulates the pulse generated by Hall Sensor commonly used to detect the rotation of an wheel or any other rotating object. These pulses are then passed to the next stage for processing. Calculating speed. Now the real magic happens in the calculate kilometer per hour from sensor pulses. Function node. This JavaScript function does a sensor of calculating to convert the time between sensor pulse into revolution per minute and eventually into kilometers per hour. It's a clever bit of math that involves timestamp, revolutions and the wheels radius. Let's take a closer look at the code. Explanation of JavaScript function. As you can see this the function calculates the times between pulse, converts into a revolution per minute and then determines the speed in kilometer per hour. Using this wheel's radius, it's a well-crafted piece of code that transforms raw data into a meaningful information. Feel free to pause and explore the code if you are interested in these details. Debugging and Output Finally, we have a debug node to visualize the output. This node helps us to see the calculated speed in the node rate debug console. It's a crucial tool for troubleshooting and understanding what's happening at the each stage of our flow. And there you have it. It's a node rate flow that turns hall sensor pulses into kilometer per hour. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.